In the 19th century, it was believed that just as water forms a medium for waves to move across its surface, and air forms a medium for the motion of sound waves, light must also require a medium, or ether, for the motion of light waves. Because light can travel through a vacuum, it was believed that even the vacuum of space must be filled with this ether. In 1887, an experiment was carried out to detect this stationary ether relative to the motion of the Earth. The result was negative. No ether was detected. The expected difference between the speed of light in the direction of the movement through what was believed to be ether and the speed of light at right angles was not found. This research eventually led to relativity, with the idea of time dilation and the curvature of space-time that rules out a stationary ether. But many people disliked the idea of space-time being able to curve without an ether. And Tesla famously said, empty space can't curve. And there has never been an intuitive logical reason why light waves or electromagnetic waves do not need an ether. In modern physics we have the abstract idea of a quantum field that in many ways has replaced the old idea of an ether. This video is going to explain an alternative view based on an emergent process unfolding photon by photon with the movement of charge. Tesla said, the Earth is like a charged metal ball moving through space. The truth of this statement can be seen by looking at the Earth's electromagnetic field. This is relative to the rotation of the Earth and its position to the Sun. In some ways, the north and south poles of the Earth can be thought of as the positive and negative of a dipole moment, with the future unfolding with the movement of positive and negative charge, and continuous flow of electromagnetic fields. At the smallest scale of this process, the photon of quantum mechanics forms a movement of charge and flow of electromagnetic fields. Therefore, even at the scale of the solar system, the future is unfolding, with the exchange of photon energy, with each new dipole moment or photon-electron coupling. This dynamic process can be represented mathematically with electromagnetism and gravity sharing the inverse square law representing the geometry of this universal process with gravitation being a secondary force to electromagnetism. Every action creates a reaction and the inward force of gravity is the reaction of the outward momentum of photon energy as a process of continuous energy exchange or continuous creation. Photon energy slows the rate that time flows as a process of continuous creation relative to the energy and momentum of each object or life form. Mass will increase relative to this with the time dilation of Einstein's relativity being part of this universal process. In such a theory, it would be easy to think of electromagnetism as a dynamic ether that moves relative to the Earth. Therefore, it would not show up in any experiment that was relative to the movement of the Earth. This could also explain why scientists have found an axis in the cosmic microwave background radiation that runs back through space and time that is relative to the elliptical plane of our solar system and the local group of galaxies that include the Milky Way galaxy. In my other videos I explain how this can be a universal process of energy exchange that is relative to the different structures that the atoms form with different phase changes in matter, changing how the process unfolds at different temperatures.
we can see this at very low temperature with superconductivity, with magnetic field lines locking together, with gravity disappearing in the reference frame of the experiment. We have a phase change at the temperature of everyday life, with the process being relative to the atoms of the periodic table, with the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. At high temperatures, we have another phase change, with the process unfolding on much larger scales in the form of plasma, with charge being able to cover a large area of interstellar space. Tesla's idea that the Earth is like a charged metal ball moving through space fits in very well with this theory of continuous energy exchange that is formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light with each photon oscillation or vibration only occurring once forming the movement of charge and continuous flow of electromagnetic fields that in turn forms the potential for the ever-changing world of our everyday life forming what we see and feel as the passage or continuum of time thanks for watching please share and subscribe it will help the promotion of this theory